Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. So, Mayor, Mayor McGillis, you, um, what do you think tonight up with Madame Perriot's presentation? Do you think she was, did she move forward? Did she change your mind? Do you want to write a check for $30,000 tonight? Well, with respect to writing the check, it's not up to me to, to make that decision at this point. But uh, we've heard some positive things here today. Uh, we're looking at uh, discussing an issues issues with in terms of uh, the hiring and and the uh, not the hiring but the uh, they said the uh, part time. And that's a big issue because the people that are actually you know, been years and years on part time, not having the opportunity to move up, I think there's a good start. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, hopefully that uh, we can come to some kind of an agreement. But then, after she made that comment, then she makes another comment that they can't make the changes because of the laws that they're, they're uh, that they have to, uh, you know, that they're under. Did you did you swallow that one? I didn't swallow that. I mean, I, I, I explained to them. It's up to the uh, minister said at Franklin Farms Affair. Yeah. Yeah. Mayor. Yeah. Said that uh, it's up to the. Uh, yeah. It's up to the hospital, the hospital, to uh, determine the, uh, the level of French language services that meets the needs of the community. This, we all know that. I've said that many times. This issue is nearly a month old at this yeah. point. Do you think she brought enough to council tonight, did for you to personally change your opinion? Well, like I said, you know, I mean, they seem to think that everything is uh, so kosher, and then and I, I have a stack of emails. And uh, from the community and the people that work at the, uh, the hospital, employees themselves, that are not as happy as as uh, what I'm hearing tonight. So, and I and I wasn't shy to pass that forward. All right. Well, I know you've got a lot more interviews to do, so yeah. thank you. And I, I believe we've got a gentleman right here, Chris yeah. Cameron, who started the protest. And Chris, Ryan? Chris, how many uh, petition names have you got so we're far? We're looking at around 2,000. We still haven't collected them all from the community. Uh, I would like to say, with regards to Madame uh, Helen Perriard, um, I find it interesting that they say that they work well with the unions and everything. I can tell you, there's thousands of grievances in the hospital. This is this is a clock of crap, anyways. There are thousands of disagreements. Thousands Thousands of uh, signatures uh, will account for it, but uh, it's, it's come to a point where I don't believe they're actually telling the truth here. I mean, there's so many people that have, through the union, would put in uh, disclaimers, what happened. Mayor McGillis, the crowd tonight was very much on your side. There was a lot of applause um, when you were punctuating some of your points. Do you, do you feel you have South Stormont's support in this? I don't only have South Stormont. I have a lot of people in uh, the city and uh, from SDNG that are uh, going, by, going by the phone calls and emails I received. It's uh, overwhelming, and I can't believe the amount of people that really feel that change is very necessary. Uh, this has been going on. The practices that are going on there are far have been going on far too long. And I'm talking. There's an employee right beside me, and I've been, I've, been, I've heard from hundreds of people that this is a problem. Do you think it's time for me? Uh, where it gets around? I mean, there's again, if you have that many many grievances in, 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 in an organization, there's a lot of family members that understand what's going on. A lot of family members, you know, reiterated that uh, you know they either know somebody. And that's related to them, or a uh, friend that's been that's been run done over these these uh, FLSAs. Should, should MPP Jim McDonnell have been here tonight? Is it time for him to stop sitting on the fence or hiding behind the fence? Not only Jim McDonnell should have been here. I think there are a lot of other politicians should have been here to understand. I saw um, Bernadette, Bernadette Claymo was here, the only member of Cornwall City no, Council. You know what? I, uh, I, even though that she probably doesn't agree with what's going on, I, uh, I uh, take my hat off to her for being here tonight. All right. Thank you very much.